All right, 9-6 is about the composition of reflections. Um, a composition is where you do more than one transformation. So a composition of reflections is where you do more than one reflection. Um, and specifically, we'll talk at, look at two reflections. Okay? We will look at when the lines are parallel and when they're not, and what happens in each case. Um, we'll look at compositions of reflections in the coordinate plane. Um, we'll look at what glide reflections are, um, and also when is it that an object changes orientation. Okay? By the end of this video, you should be able to perform a composition of reflections um, in the coordinate plane. You should be able to identify and describe what a glide reflection is and be able to perform a glide ref reflection in the coordinate plane and also be able to identify if two congruent figures have the same orientation or a different orientation. Okay. Now, here is a case where I've taken this um, triangle ABC and I've reflected it across the first line that you see and I get A prime triangle A prime B prime C prime and then I've reflected it again over this line and I get A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. Okay? Now, I've made it so that these two lines will stay parallel. Okay? They will stay parallel. Um, and so, some interesting things happen. If you look just at A, triangle ABC, and triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, the blue triangles, if you look at just those two, you may notice that it's a translation. So ABC, triangle ABC is a translation, sorry, triangle ABC translated and you get A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. You see that I've kind of drawn in these lines. So if I translate it, I get um, the third image. Okay? So if the two lines are parallel, you get a translation. Okay? More specifically, um, the direction of the translation is perpendicular to the two parallel lines. And um, the distance, interestingly enough, um, the distance is um, twice as long as the distance between the two lines. Okay? So the two lines, the distance between those two lines is 6 centimeters, and the distance between A and A double prime is 12 centimeters. So the, the, the um, distance of the translation is twice as long as the distance between the two lines. Okay, you write that down. So if the lines are parallel, you get a translation. Okay? The direction of the translation is perpendicular to the two lines. Okay? And the distance of the translation is um, twice the distance of the two lines. Being the distance between the two lines. Okay? Some pretty interesting things. Okay. Now, what if the two lines were not parallel, if they intersected? Okay. It's a little, little trickier to see. What I've done is I've taken triangle ABC, I've reflected it over this line, and I get um, triangle A prime B prime C prime, and then translated it again over this line, and I get A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. Okay. Again, it's, it's a little harder to, to notice, but if you look at the two blue triangles, um, you may notice that one is a rotation of the other. Okay? So if I rotate point C around point D, these where the two lines intersect, I get a rotation. A rotated around, and I get A double prime. B rotated, I get B double prime. And so the whole image is, is being rotated. Again, we rotate counterclockwise. Okay. Now, the angle of rotation, interestingly enough, if this angle is 60 degrees, where the two lines intersect, the angle of rotation is twice as long. 
So you, you'll notice this doubling thing happening a lot when you have two lines. Um, so the, the, um, angle, the angle of rotation is twice um, that of the two lines. Okay, so things you should know about um, two lines that intersect is um, it creates a rotation. Okay. The center of rotation is the intersection of the two lines. Okay, and the angle of rotation okay, is the angle of those two is double the angle of those two lines. Okay. We will first um, reflect the image across L and then across M. Okay. Now, in these two examples, that they're parallel, so what we should get is a translation perpendicular to um, lines L and M, and it should be twice the distance um, that L and M are away from each other. Okay. What happens if M is in between the two lines? Does that change anything? Um, I will first translate it, and it looks something like um, this, and then translate it across M, and I get to be down here, because this point right here, perpendicular to this, that doubled will be down here, okay? Um, now, it's still true that it's perpendicular to line M, okay? And the length away is twice um, the distance between the two lines, pretty interesting. Okay, again, if it's a um, rotation, I will go first over L and then over M. So L will be something like this. Okay, and then I rotate it across the line M, and it looks like this. Okay, and what we have is a rotation. So rotation counterclockwise. Okay, and the angle of rotation is twice 85, so it'll be 170. Now, in the coordinate plane, um, we're supposed to graph AB. Now, at the very bottom, you'll see what A and B are. Um, graph segment AB and the image after reflection across L1 and then L2. So, two fours right here. Here's A. And B is 3, 1. So, this is segment AB. Now, L1 is the x-axis, okay? So I'll first reflect it across the x-axis. Again, we're going perpendicular to the line of reflection, and B prime is right here, because it's one away. And A is four away from the x-axis, so I'll keep going perpendicular to the x-axis and be down here at A prime, okay? There's A prime, B prime. Y2 is the y-axis, so I will now look at the y-axis, okay? A prime is now two away from the x-axis, sorry, the y-axis, so A double prime is here, and B double prime, will, B prime is three away, so I keep going three more, and B double prime is here. So here is um, A double prime, B double prime, and what has happened from A, B, to A double prime, B double prime, is a rotation of, well, the angle is um, 90 degrees, so that doubled as 180 degree rotation around the origin. Okay, another example, if A was 2, negative 5, and B was negative 1, negative 3, and I do it across the line Y equals 0. Now, Y equals 0 is when Y is 0, so this is the line Y equals 0. Okay, going perpendicular to that line, B is 3 away, so I keep going 3 more. Here's B prime. A is 5 away, so I keep going 5 more. 
Okay, so here is a prime, b prime. And then across the line, y equals 2. y equals 2 is right here, where all the y values are 2. Now, I'll use blue again. Um, b is 1 away, so b double prime is right here, 1 away. And a is 3 away from this new line, so I go th keep going 3, and I get a double prime is here. And so this is my, um, my image after the two reflections. Okay? You will notice that it's a, just like a translation up, okay, which is perpendicular to my two lines. And the distance between A and A double prime is 4 when the distance between the two um, lines of reflection is 2. And so again, it's double that length. Okay, a glide reflection is something slightly different. Um, it's where you, you glide, like a translation, and then you reflect. Okay? So a glide reflection is the composition of a translation and a reflection across the line parallel to the direction of the translation. Okay? So you, you translate it in one direction, and then you reflect it across a line that's parallel to that translation. Okay? Here I have a triangle being... Um, translated down and then reflected across the the y-axis. Okay, here's an example of a glide reflection. Um, we will glide reflect triangle TX um, where the translation is XY maps to X, Y minus 5, and the line of reflection is X equals 0. Okay, so um, the translation is the X stays the same, but the Y is 5 below. So um, point T, um, the X stays the same, but the Y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 below. I won't label it. Um, X goes down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And E goes down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? And then I will reflect each of those points over the line X equals 0, which is this line right here, the Y axis. Okay? This point is has a distance of 1 from that line, so um, this right here must be E prime. Okay, Point X that's down here reflected, it's 2 away, and so X prime must be right here. And this point over here that we got from T, it's 5 away, so if I keep going 5 more, it's right here. Okay, So this is, under the glide reflection, that's triangle T prime, E prime, X prime. Okay. Um, let's do this example. All right. So finally, um, about orientations. Um, these two images have the same orientation because I can either translate um, or I can rotate it so it looks the exact same. Okay. The same orientation. Um, again, these two images of the word geometry have the same orientation. I can rotate this one so it looks the exact same. Okay? Otherwise, over here, if I rotate it, there's no way I can get it to be look the exact same. I mean, it's backwards. So the orientation is, is opposite. Again, with geometry, I can't rotate it so it looks the same. The orientations are opposite. Okay? Um, now, translations and rotations um, have the same orientation. Okay? Um, reflections and glide reflections change orientation. Okay? This image was a this video was about the composition of reflections, meaning two reflections. Um, what happens when the lines are parallel, when they're not parallel, when they intersect. Um, we've talked about glide reflections um, and when orientations change. I hope by now you're able to perform a composition of reflections um, and also be able to identify and describe what a glide reflection is, be able to perform a glide reflection in the coordinate plane, and also be able to identify two congruent figures if they have the same orientation or different orientations.